It sure has been a long time since I played this. <laughs> There's, um... Wait a minute. This is the second game, right? Oh yeah, see, see we just got faked out for a second. I get surprisingly a lot of comments on YouTube asking me to play this again. Because I never finished my playthrough for whatever reason. So I thought I'd throw you guys a bone. And uh, finally, finish this one off. Now, give me one second. So, a little uh, background on my setup. Um, I used to uh, stream with a television in my bedroom next to my laptop on my desk, which also has my Cintiq. But um, last year, uh, a couple months ago, my Cintiq died, so I actually bought a new one. And the new Cintiq has a headphone jack, so I can actually just use that as the glorified television to stream from my desk. It's amazing. However, I did not realize how loud this game was going to be. It might be... it might be louder than it needs to be. Um... Hi, Phil. Is that... is this better? I turned the audio down a bit. It didn't change it on the Cintiq, though. I'm not sure how I would even go about fixing that. Maybe I'll just tolerate it. Yeah, 20, 2007. You liked it when it was loud. Hmm. Well, hang on, let me see. I'll just go to the... to the VOD and hear what it sounds like. You know what, it could be a little louder, because this is a game about music, okay? And we need to hear that uh, beautiful music. Okay. So that's great. Oh wait, aha. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Different problem for a different day. So it looks like I left off here. You have to uh, bear with me because I haven't played this in apparently over three years. Which feels like not that long ago. Oh wait, I should actually go to the Moimoy Moi house, right? Because the uh, he, yeah, see this loading screen is interactive and the guy like digs. To the treasure right so if I hit start this little little cutscene or not a cutscene but you know an animation item found what I get seed <laughs> not but um that's great Wow. All right, how do we get out of here? Well, might as well, I guess. Yeah, sure. So now, oh, I got missed, missed the button. Yeah. 
You know what? I wonder if they purposely... Because this is a game now running on modern hardware, not a PSP, so they... And it's not reading a disc, so technically that loading screen shouldn't be that long. I wonder if they, like, faked it so you could still do the whole mining bit. Wait a second, that's abusable on PSP. Yeah, in theory, right? Alright, so yay. We're back. Gimme. Give Gimme give the eats. Oh man. This isn't my first time playing this level, is it? I know there's kind of like a pseudo metroidvania level structure in this game where you can start unlocking moves that lets you access uh, more parts of levels that you've previously been in, but I don't know if there was anything crazy. Anyways, I gotta get readjusted to this control scheme. Didn't take me too long. Oh, I don't want to get stung. Oh, I should probably get that. Yeah. No. Don't sting me. I don't think stinging is a really big punishment. But still don't want it to happen. Maybe I'll just They probably simulated real PSP load times just for this game. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, I got stung. See, I got boo-boo now. But it should go away. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're not going that way. Oh, shoot. Is there anything up there? This is a game about fulfilling my curiosity. There's like a little ledge. I doubt, I doubt I can do anything there. Alright, let's just go. Maybe if I like gamer hopped off the bees. But maybe, only maybe. Definitely want to grab those dandelions. Fly away, majestically. <laughs> one thing I like about this game more than the first one. Oh no, no, give me it. All right, is that? When you grow in size, the music changes dynamically. It's real cool. Want that big buggo? Come on now. Give it to me. Thank you. Gamer hop off the bee to unlock the Mountain Dew in the Moi Moi house. <laughs> uh, if it was for a Mountain Dew product placement, I think I would totally spend the next hour trying. Sounds totally worth it. Alright, do I have the ability to... Did I unlock the cool... Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna learn it right now. Teach me, daddy. So this is what I'm talking about, like you learn moves and those moves can open up branches in other levels. Like, I'm pretty sure there's another level where you can... Where, where a path was blocked by those clouds with the spikes. Now I can go back to that level and see whatever was there. Heck, I can even do that in this level because this left part was blocked off.
Is it more productive if I separate? I don't think so. Come on up. Here we go. Get a squeeze on in here. It'd be real cute. some rainbow soil, which was most definitely not rainbow. Wait, so she says toge, which means spike, right, in Japanese? Because, um, toge Demaru is like the, the hedgehog Pokemon. He's a little spiky boy, right? All the, uh, the Pikachu Fake mo po or not fake Pikachu's, but like Pikachu-esque Pokemon in each generation all have Japanese names. Oh, I guess I'm a <laughs> I have an update for Assassin's Creed. Ooh, give me that. Whatever that is. GG, honey. Oh, get him! <laughs> Alright. Toge does indeed mean spike, see? Finally, I've been waiting for this stream. See, Dan, this is for people like you who have constantly asked me to finish Loco Roco. It's not like I don't want to. I do. I love this game. I just, I'm not really sure why I fell off of it. But I'm here to make it right. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was an alternate path. Yeah. There wasn't anything on the left, right? I wasn't totally paying attention. Maybe because you, like, had a job. Well... Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I could go left. Hang on, let me make sure there wasn't anything up here. Okay, there definitely wasn't. I mean, maybe... That's a, that looks like a gamer jump. Hang on. Probably possible. I don't think it's intended, though. Alright, let's... The game, this is... I touched this. It should move. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Ugh. Give me that, give me that! Oh, okay. Yeah, try again. Yeah. Cool. Look at you, Dan. You're like a you're a celebrity now. Anyway, so let's continue. To the right. Grab a dandelion. I wish I wasn't known as a Twitter person. How come? I mean, you're you're kind of a Twitter artist. I mean, you have a you have a, a Newgrounds account. Oh, VR chat too. Yeah, right. True. Yeah. Now I got ten. Ten little friendos in me, so now the music changes again. Oh, I guess I'm not getting those. No, 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 no! Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take that. I don't know what just happened. But I'll take it. Because Twitter is hashtag cringe. Oh. You don't like being a fleet warrior? I don't know if there was any significance to doing that. Oh, wait. I hope this is not the intended route. Because I just... Okay, it's not.
We. Continue descending. Oh, is this world gonna rotate on me? Uh oh. Alright, I got nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, I gotta like. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Oh, I guess I'm. Oh, wait, I missed it again. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Oh, oh, oh! Ho, 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 ho! Gamer move. Okay. I made an e boy design for a future VR chat design, and it's the worst and best thing I've made. E boy design? I think I saw a sign of yours at that Times Square map, but I don't remember. Yeah, it's the first thing you see when you spawn in. Sorry, Tucker, I'm hijacking your stream. No, it's, it's honestly a good thing because I don't have that much to talk about. Oh, dude, Hatsune Miku! Get this uh, gunk off my flowers, bro. Free advertisement, Dan. It, it's all yours. You can have it. Everybody follow Kablam Jam Dan on Twitter, right? Is that it? Wait, can you play that for us now? Uh, maybe. I've never actually played it. It's not mine. This is not just uh, my PS4. Wait, this is the end of level? Whoa, I suck. I only got 13. What did I miss? Maybe I was supposed to do that gamer move off the bees. Yo, everybody's golf! It's actually a game I love a lot. I should buy some more games for my PS4. I was browsing earlier on PSN until I realized I'm cheap as hell. I'm just really picky. I like cute games. There's not that many cute games on uh, PS4, at least that I'm aware of. I bought Gravity Rush 2 and I haven't even touched it. I played the first one on Vita and I really liked it. But, um. Oh, yo, Twitch! We should get meta and watch myself. But I, I might stream that, I don't know, one of these days. So I, um, cleared the level, but what does that do for me? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Oh, maybe I should have changed my Loco Roco. Gravity Rush 2 is so good. It's the only first party Sony game I like on PS4. I have the remaster or whatever, the first one on here too. That I did play a bit. Gravity Rush is cool though. Honestly, the sleeper PS4 hit for me was Everybody's Golf. I love that game. Yo, rock. I get the journey with a rock. Yo, ratchet and clank. Man, there's so many updates. What's up with that? Oh, it's an egg. It's an egg! Alright, later. Never mind. I wanted to pick up golf, as in everybody's golf. You should. The character creator in that game is super, um... Super diverse, or I don't know. I don't know if diverse is the correct word, but you can... You can do a lot of damage in it. It's just fun. Golf is just fun. If you like Mario Golf, you will love everybody's golf. Go nut. Give me nut. Oh, no! Give me all the nut! Oh. Yeah, I'll pick it up when we can do competitive golf stream. Actually, I'm down for that. I 
I've been meaning to get back into that game. You can make, um... What's the word? Gajinka? You can make Gajinka D. That's the right word. I think a Jinko refers to inanimate objects. Oh no, 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 no! No! You suck. But isn't gonna bite me in the ass later. Alright, I'll go pick it up after I finish with the work. Oh damn. But don't count on it today, I'm just saying in general. I think it's like $40. Well, it was when I bought it. It might be even cheaper now. Am I going the wrong way? I think I did. I think I was totally supposed to go... Oh no, this looks like a secret bonus area. Well, I'm getting it for myself mainly. That's true, sorry. Wait, why am I... Why am I... Why is my antenna going? I already did this. Thought maybe there was more to it. Get me out of here. I played a golf game one time as a kid, which inspired me to take real-life golf lessons until I realized I hate golf IRL. Oops. Yeah. I feel like golf is one of those games that is just way better as a video game because in real life golf you actually have to walk. <laughs> Not that I don't like walking, I actually walk like two hours every day. I blame Pokemon Go. But um... What was I trying to say? Uh, yeah. And like, you gotta buy all the putts or whatever and then... I don't know. I just feel like way more convenient. It's not like golf's a game where you actually get real exercise. Like, it's not like basketball or... I don't know. You should play What the Golf that is an enjoyable game. Is that the game that isn't actually a golf game at all? But it like starts off as golf? Golf is for nerds. Yeah, that's true. Oh, totally a secret. Come on. I don't think I have enough guys, though. Unless it only needs five. I'm back! Give me, give me your tail. Yeah, it's not a golf game. <laughs> oh, okay. Am I supposed to, like, wait? Maybe? Maybe he goes left a bit. Yeah! Oh, I suck. Okay, let's try that again. Is that Kirby? Yes. This is Kirby with lipstick. Oh shit, I messed up again. I hated going to lessons because of all the kids were dressed up in fancy golf gear. Why I show up wearing a t-shirt and shorts? Yeah, isn't like the, the golf attire, a polo? I like the golf hats. Damn it, I did it again. I was holding the trigger so I couldn't let go. Alright. This time for real. No distractions. Yo! Okay. Yay, we only need five. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Why can't you sing like this? 
They probably... I could try. The question is, do you want that? Why can't I sing like this? Dead face. Where are we going? Where are you taking me, Cloud Friends? Me out. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this guy turns you into weird shapes. Eat. <laughs> Rectangle. Oh wait, is that bad? Good. I gotta snipe all these these owl babies. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh wait, I could just probably probably just shimmy up there. Maybe? Maybe not. I uh try and time this. Alright. Loco Roco Tetris. <laughs> Or an L block, or an I block, sorry. You're right. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Alright, this is gonna. This is probably gonna be a bit. I can do it, though. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, ho, ho, not even worth it. Oh, wait, yeah, it was. There was a fruit in there. Okay. Get me out of here. Can I, can I swim? Yeah. Forgot, see? And luck swimming. Speaking of Mario sports games, I bought Mario Tennis on Game Boy and it's so good. Is that the RPG one? POV, you are the eyepiece trying to get a Tetris. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think I have the ability that I need here. Oh, this looks dangerous. Eat. <laughs> um, I just crashed into that poor fella's ship. Yeah, it has an RPG mode, it's fun. You know what I'm bummed about? Oh, this is like the wander over yonder thing. Hey, buddy. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh no. Oh no, that messes things up. I wanted him to be pushed the other way. Alright, gamer jump. Not happening. Oh, I messed this up for myself. It's a good thing this is a game all about replayability. Because they have all these materials you're supposed to collect. So you're encouraged to replay levels. It does. It does look like a Foster's home character. What was I saying? Something about... Oh yeah. So... Do you guys know about the... Um... What's it called? Uh... The analog pocket was like uh, pro FPG made uh, Game Boy, but it could also play Game Boy Color. I think even Game Boy Advance games. And the auction, or not auction, but like the pre-orders for it ended in like 10 seconds. So I was trying to get one and I didn't. This is a long way of me saying that I really wanted one, because then I was going to actually build up a library of retro games. Fucker, do you like PSP Go? Uh, I don't have one. And I probably wouldn't get one because I can't play UMDs. But I love the PSP, it's probably my favorite handheld. Was this, was this a trap? Oh wait, I know what I gotta do.
Was there another pre-order? There was, because I guess not all the pre-orders they had went through or something. So they let people order like 10 more, if anything, <laughs> it felt like. And I also didn't get it that time, so it was whatever. I'm tempted to buy one from a scalper, depending on how much they go for, but... It's like... It's like a high-quality screen, and it's, um... Backlit, and looks great. I don't know, I just thought it'd be really cool to have. But, uh, yeah, the PSP is, like, top tier. Like, I've, I've always been a Nintendo baby. But the uh, PSP gave birth to like, a ton of my favorite franchises. Oh, come on. No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, now I got 15, so the music said it's peak. Uh, but yeah, I forgot what I, where I left off on on that. PSP is great, something about that. PSP was just way ahead of its time. And then, like, the afterlife of the PSP was amazing. Okay, Infamous now has an update too. What is this, for like, PS5 backwards compatibility? What was I saying? PSP is amazing. Uh, another mine. Hang on. Oh. What was the last time you turned on your PS4? Um, probably last month. Because of Puyo Tetris 2. But also, my girlfriend Melissa has been playing um, Assassin's Creed and uh, Persona 5, which I might also play. Persona. Oh, did that owl just leave without me? I don't even know if that's the way I'm supposed to go. That's one thing I kind of don't like about these games is, like, clearly I'm, I can go right. But also, um, if the owl came back, I could ride him and he might take me somewhere else. Or I just missed my opportunity entirely and he's just gone. Is he coming back, guys? I heard the PS5 isn't doing so hot because it's being overrun by scalpers and no one is buying games for it because of it. That makes sense. I've probably said this before, but I'm probably not going to buy a PS5 unless um, they put a new Patapon on it. Or if Katamari ends up being like console or uh, console locked or something. I don't know. Not multi platform. Alright, I guess I'm going this way. Or if, uh, unfortunately, the next Sonic game ends up being next gen only, that would probably do it for me too, because I love Sonic. It wouldn't surprise me because I'm pretty sure the next Sonic's gonna be an adventure remake. And I can't imagine they'll be putting it on Switch. Dan says he needs a new Ape Escape to convince him, which I'm, I believe you. It sounds like you. So, anyways, that's cool. The owl just left without me. So, we'll never know where that was. Oh, sad bird. Yo, that's Twitter. I wonder how they would even do an adventure remake. I presume they would just make it... Okay, so I... <laughs> I guess I have a lot to say about this stuff. To me, I feel like they have two ways of going about it. The first way is they outsource it to, like, the guys that have been doing the Crash and... Spyro remakes. I think they're two different studios, actually. Sega was smart, they would outsource an Adventure 1 and 2 remake to those guys. 
But if they're doing it in-house, I feel like they're actually gonna go, like, all in. And in that case, they'll probably make, like... Make it pretty drastically different, and not just like a high res texture up res or whatever. That's my opinion. I don't think they'll go like boost formula, I think they'll actually go back, but they'll really polish it up. Make it not a buggy mess. Well, we'll see. Champlin. Oh, I should change my loco. Okay. All right, guys. Who who should I be? Oh, I have all of them. All right. Whoever says it first is who I'm picking. All right. You're taking too long. I'm gonna go get a drink. Both of you want red. Good choice. Sorry, Mel, you don't get it. I'll pick uh, blue poggers another time. Anyways, it'll be funny to see how they would do the cutscenes in an adventure remake. I feel like they would, um... I feel like they wouldn't keep the old dialogue. I think they would rewrite it. re-recorded obviously which I would not like because I don't think um what's his name the guy who plays Sonic I don't like modern Sonic right now that's just my opinion Roger Craig Smith yeah 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 I, like, I can't- he would not do the lines of Adventure Era Sonic Justice. I feel like they should just re-make up new stuff that suits his voice better, but I don't know. I could be proven wrong. Well, maybe- maybe he would be alright. I can hear him being like, Where are you going, you big drip? can't do his voice. Do you like movie Sonic's voice more? Um, I think... I think I talked about this on Twitter, but... I, I'm conflicted on movie Sonic because... He strikes me as annoying, but Sonic is kind of supposed to be annoying. <laughs> I don't know, eh, maybe? I, I guess... Part of the problem with the movie Sonic, though, is he just had too much to say all the time. So if they, like, toned it back, then, yeah, I think I think that would be better. Olive Garden DLC. <laughs> I actually like the Olive Garden jokes. I think they're funny. Well, I think it works for Sonic's character in that movie. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I, I think I'd be okay with that. I think it would be better. But ideally, they would just get Ryan Drummond back. Not saying that Ryan is like the best Sonic voice, but... I don't know. Alright, this is tricky, because I gotta... See, this is just like Sonic, okay? I have to build up momentum. So I can get up in that little ledge there, because I'm sure there's something. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, where uh, I'm building up speed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, no, no, no! Okay. Try that again. <laughs> okay. Try that again. Oh. Oh. Oh, this looks like a really good place. Oh no, I got a I got a Sonic somewhere. Hang on. I'll rechat in a bit. A bit. I have to now collect all these berries for the next ten minutes. Oh, speaking of Sonic 1, there's a Sonic 1 prototype. Uh, finally discovered. And it is technically the holy grail of Sonic prototypes. But it's honestly not as interesting as the Sonic 3 or Sonic 2 ones, in my opinion. It's amazing that we have it, though. Yummy nut. All right. Whoa. All right, now I can reach out. Uh, is the movie Sonic and Puyo Quest a real thing? Yes. So how about you voice Sonic? Just your normal dry voice to Sonic. Uh, I, no. I feel like I would just sound, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of have the raspy of Roger just without the snark. Well, maybe I don't know. Maybe I am snarky. I don't know. That's apparently lost, like even Sega doesn't have it. Doesn't have what? Oh, the Sonic prototype. Yeah, there, there's another Sonic 1 prototype that has the, um... Oh, this guy yells. <laughs> or I guess he shoots snowballs. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, there's another Sonic 1 prototype. Which has, instead of robots, it has like monsters. And that, to me, will be far more interesting, but I, I think it's very unlikely we'll ever see that resurface. But we also said the same thing about anything with Sonic 1 or Sonic 3 or heck even Pokemon and... Or anything from Nintendo, really, and they got hacked, so... Who knows? Anything's possible, I guess. Sonic is more nasal sounding, I feel. Which, which Sonic? Sonic who? Whoa! No! I saw that! Yeah! Get me in there. Kukuli. All of them. You're not wrong. <laughs> See through stone. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, Moja hair. Mojala hair. Okay. <laughs> Yummy nut. When will we get Sonic Extreme? Uh, we have Sonic Extreme. Right? The the programmer, Chris Sen, or whatever, he's like... Isn't he very supportive of the preservation scene on that? Like, he's given us everything he has, as far as I know. And there are uh, Sonic Extreme prototypes out there. There's like the Saturn build, and I think a PC build? There's like the Knight's Engine one or something? I don't know. I know it's out there. Bombo. 
Oh shit, don't hit me. Come on, come here. Yeah. Oh, look at this dapper snowman. It's like it's, it's cold out. Oh, I suck. That's right. There's also the Sonic Extreme 32X uh, mock-up, which is not an actual game. It's like a pre-rendered video, but we have that too, right? And that one's actually really interesting. Uh, probably supposed to go right, so I'm gonna go left. This penguin <laughs> didn't know what's coming. Yeah, when it was known as Sonic Mars. Probably. Something like that. The sprite work in that in that uh, mock-up is really cool. It was like a shot where he like comes towards the screen and gives it a little fist bump or whatever. It looks cool. Okay, okay, so we're Sonicking right now. And I fucked it up. Try again. Yep. I wonder how Sonic would be if Sonic Extreme actually released. I feel like... And this is probably hearsay. But I kind of feel like Sonic Extreme failed because it wasn't made by Sega of Japan. And that Sega... But Japan was trying to kind of sabotage the project. So I feel like there's a lot of pride when it comes to game development. So, in the event that it did release, that makes that Sonic team of that time period look like they're incapable versus an American team. I don't know. Chris Sen could have been the only American for all I know, actually, but. Oh man, alright, this is gonna be a while. Alright, not enough speed. This one's gonna be it. Oh, I have to do this three times? <laughs> alright guys, we're gonna be here a while. Like spin dashing right now. Oh, that's not gonna be enough speed. Oh, 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 oh! Ho, ho, it was. Now we can hear the beautiful music of the area in its full glory. And I could totally get this berry. I tried. I believed. Speed. Mm, yeah. Here we go. Got him. Here we go. Oh no no, give me the give me the berries. Yeah. Speaking of game preservation stuff, I found a bunch of downloadable wallpapers and icons from Petapon 3 Flash game on an old PC of mine that wasn't posted anywhere online. <sighs> that is a mouthful. There was a screen saver from the Flash game member and it would be sick as hell if I could find that because there's a shitload of HD resources from that. I remember that. There's also there was also a Japanese one with like uh with some Japanese comedian. It was like 
was like shirtless. He would like do the drum commands and stuff. It was like a parody, but it was on the website. But the American website had the wallpaper maker, I do remember that. I'm guessing it's not on the Wayback Machine, right? Do you know if you have that still because I would be sick as hell? I definitely do not. I was a young, young little boy when that game came out, so... I'm not a little boy, but... I was dumb and young. <laughs> I actually did pretty good on this level, I got 19. Not on the way back. Yeah, I guess that figures. Whoa, wait, is this boss fight? You silly boy. Throwing your pots at me. Oh, I got boo boo. What am I supposed to do? Keep pumping him? Ah, oh, give me that. Give me that tail. The only cool thing I found on the way back for Patapon was the JP100 hour demo. Oh, good times. I wish I have an evil song when I show up. I mean, you could, Dan. I get one more fruit, and I will have all the fruit for this level. I I played so much of that 100 hour demo for Patapon 3. My friend JC, he actually <laughs> played it for 100 hours, and if you do that, your save gets reset, I think. But that demo was amazing. And it had multiplayer, which was... Also crazy. Well, actually, the original demo did too. The first demo. But. That was crazy. The original demo is cool because there's a couple differences. Like the. Uh, I forget the name of the dog pad upon. The guy who plays with the tuba. He was like blue instead of orange in the demo. And there's other small things. I think there was like uh, music differences. I think the ent looks different. The ROM's out there. I mean, it's not news. You remember Greg Miller, uh, Shock? He, um, when he was doing the review for Petapon 3, he actually asked for people to help him review it as in play multiple. Oh, wait, cutscene. Shh, I gotta be quiet. Okay, uh, oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, so... 
Greg Miller actually asked for help. Like he was like, I'll give you a re review code if you guys help me uh, play Patapon 3. Just email me your availability and why I should pick you. And I actually did email him. I didn't get picked, obviously, but I do remember that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm available between four and nine. I was still in high school. <laughs> that probably was why it didn't work out, but that would have been cool. Anyways, bo boy Boon! Blast Boy Boy with the Moi Moi Plains. Fire shells with the O button. Circle. Moi Moi appears when the local Roko eats fruits. Catch it for more power. Defeat the Boy Boy battleship before you lose all your local Roko. Apply to get a free game. Well, that's actually how reviews work, Dan. That's how I, uh, got. Uh, Puyo early. You essentially just sell yourself. Oh jeez. Right? Is it okay if I run into them? Anyways, this this is an interesting uh, thing they have in this game. The shooter levels. Wait, come back. Wait, I got hit? Oh, I did get hit. No! Oh, double power. Uh, I guess I'm not getting those guys. Fully just being a coward right now. Kinda hurt. Oh, oh, oh god. No, no! Holy crap! Is this Toho? Or Tohu? Oh, you can shoot the bombs, okay. Okay, well, I'm just gonna lose all my guys, I guess. from that. These guys are relentless. I gotta be close to the end. That big puncher does not look, look. Oh, okay, never mind. The emulator this game is running on is lagging right now. I don't know if you can hear the audio crunch, but it's real crunchy right now. And when I say emulator, I don't mean the PS4. I mean, the PS4 is running a PSP emulator.
can't tell if I'm... Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh! Never mind. Alright, great. It's also worth noting that I'm not playing this on a PS4 Pro, which probably runs this game way better than the uh, PS... PS4 regular does. Actually, is this is this on PS5? This probably runs like a dream there. Anyways, all right, I got chat to read. Play to get free game. Wow, you could have e-bagged it like everyone else on Twitter did. No, I I know how to do it the professional way. <laughs> I think there's a few unseen levels in the multi demo, and I just like to sink my teeth into that. I'd love to see that. It cannot handle vector graphics. Well, actually. I don't believe these are vectors. Like, they probably originally were vectors, but these are definitely rasters. Just a really high res emulator. Anyways, that's a mouthful. Next time, play using Bugu. Save game. Oh, wow. Guess I can't dig. Oh, whoa. I'm running out of drive space, apparently. Hang on. What's taking up all the space on my computer? Look at there's a cutscene. Give me a sec. got so pissed off she became God. Figured out what was using all my drive space. Because all the um, edits I made... Oh snap, I got the chest. All the edits I made on the... Uh, the, the Puyo Spell compilation video I made. Oh no! They're making a gigantic Moja bun Bunyo bomb! Oh snap. Right. He became my mom. Hi mom. Yeah, so this is Magellan. He's uh, Bon Mucho's mother. Cheetah, big bad. Oh, fake. I got punked. Oh, boy boy forts are awesome, though. They got good music, and the gameplay style is all jumping. Which is both fun and annoying, as you can see. But it's good to spice it up. These levels are notoriously hard. In fact, I think, isn't Boy Boy Fort? One of the Boy Boy Forts are like the hardest levels in the game. <laughs> Do you hate it when someone just makes a giant Mojo Bunyo bomb? Absolutely. You hate to see it. Anyways, Boy Boy Fort music makes me think of Spice Girls. So, uh, who's that? Oh, yeah. 
You guys remember Spice Girls? Are you, uh, is that, is that my generation? Are you speaking from personal experience? <laughs> I guess, technically. I own Spice Girl World on PS1. See? Oh, oops. Oh, this isn't the way I'm supposed to go. I just skipped whatever was left. Maybe I can go back. Moi Moi! All my homies love Moi Moi. Honestly, I only know them from Chicken Little. They were in Chicken Little? You gotta fill me in, Dan. I've seen Chicken Little, I, I do not recall. me button. Yeah, there's song played in the credit. Oh, okay. Just the one? The tell me what you want, what you really, really want song. <laughs> oh, that one! Uh-oh. Oof! <gasps> Almost got squished. Luckily, it was a fake out. All right, here we go. Spice Girl time. Damn it! I I, I can jump. I swear. Eat. Also, you can shock because it's like not good. Wait, oh, I don't sing to him? Okay. They're like missing a friend though. Can I help them? Let's see. Should I go left or right? Probably up. Call. Oh, get me out of here. Cool. Now we can go right. Hopefully get the fruit. First try. Second try. Alright. Is there anything to the right? There definitely is. You should always, always check. It re This really be looking like a Retro Studios Donkey Kong level. Well, guess what, Dan? Retro Studios really be looking like a local Roco level. Jail is not really putting up much of a fight. Say as I continue to struggle to hit it. Oh, oh! Alright. Alright, we're making some progress. Me? I'm gonna be 35 years old when Metroid Prime 4 comes out. <laughs> Come down on 
on the Wii or uh, the Switch. All right, I suck. Not even funny. Get me out of here. Oh, this looks like a good idea. Come on, get the fruit. There you go. Oh yeah, it's a fun little detail. The boy boy sing the music on the stage. I mean, obviously you can tell by their their lyrics, but they're also in the bottom left instead of the moin moin. Also, I'm going ape shit right now. Dan, it's your theme song. Oh, they took away my bounce my bounce power. Yeah, I'm gonna unfollow after that joke, comma, sorry. Bounce back now? Yep. What up, guys? Oh, uh oh. Alright, I don't want to get eaten while I try to rip off his tail. Does it collect though? Um, World of Goo. I've never played World of Goo. Apparently on the Switch now. More like World of Poo. <laughs> oh no, she just farted away. Well, I feel like I'm in danger right now. Maybe not. I got the power of bounce on me. Oh, come on. This is not fair. Um, am I getting Sonic 06 right now? Alright. You know what I'm talking about with, like, silver. It's no use! Where's the rest of my body? Thank you. I've always wanted to stream Sonic 06, but S2 did it, so I don't know if I really need to. OJ here. Oh, I got all 20 on the, on the fourth stage. Damn. Stream Sonic Heroes instead on PS2. I actually hate Sonic Heroes. <laughs> you know what? If you just play Team Rose, Sonic Heroes is just fine. But the fact that you gotta play it on three different playstyles, of which extend the gameplay way beyond it needs to, it's a little tiring. Yeah, so stream it. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
Now I love Sonic Heroes. It's my favorite. Says Dan. Everybody. We got a full jar. Perfect. Oh, oh! I even got all the bugs. It's one of those games that I like but can't recommend. I don't know. I play. I tried playing it. I think maybe f four years ago. Again, and I did do. I think I I cleared Team Rose and I might have cleared Team Sonic. And then I was probably starting Team Dark. I remember not hitting it that much, but I... Or maybe, I don't know. I'd have to play it again. See, look. Finished with 20. Congrats. Somewhere someone's story was unlocked. Yo, yo, Rhino Butt. Maybe I'll stream it at some point. I don't think it's that bad. I remember having fun as Team Rose. Cause the levels are like the perfect length. I just I don't know, I can't I can't stand Sonic levels when they get way too long. Way too long and difficult. But like, um Everything else about Heroes I, I like. It's just the gameplay I don't really like. Like the music is top notch. I like the uh, the character interactions. I like that they brought back the chaotix. I like uh, Shadow and friends. How come? All right, I want that fruit. I like that chaos gets mentioned in passing. I like that Metal Sonic is the main villain. That's my favorite thing about that game, actually. Metal Sonic. They make Metal Sonic really cool. Well, Forces is just a boring Sonic game. Like, it's fundamentally or structurally a good game. I guess. Well, not good, but it's like average. But every time it think levels start to get interesting, the, get the level ends. And the story is cringe. And the music's bad. Like, it's the first time I've actually not liked the music in Sonic game. And there are good... Like, I can get past cringe vocal tracks, and there are some good ones, but there is also a lot of bad, like, forgettable music. Mostly because it sounds like, um, what you call it? Oh, I just fucked this up. Sounds like dubstep and crap. I don't know. Not my thing. Is this a secret? What am I doing right now? This has gotta be a secret. No? Alright. I gotta get back in there. I want those bugs. Sonic Adventure 2 is my favorite. That is also my favorite, Phil. Sonic Adventure 2 is peak Sonic. And I'm hoping that, like I mentioned earlier, Sonic Team will outsource the remakes of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 to, like, people that are doing the crash and stuff. Toys for Bob, and we'll get both of them, and that will be great. And if I can't get back in here on this try, I'm just gonna move on. All right, I was gonna move on, but I feel like it should be like why? Why? I can do it. I can do it. I can feel it in my bones. All right, I, I give up. Also, the custom character in Forces is like the best thing about that game. The gameplay style for the custom characters, like when it's when it's the custom character and Sonic together, I think that's when the game's the most interesting. And it's kind of like a callback to Heroes too, but I don't know. Oh, this looks like Gain from Patapom.
Sonic Adventure deserves the remake more than Adventure 2, but I would much rather play Adventure 2. <laughs> like Sonic Adventure is really cool, but it's also like deserving of being brought in with polish more than Adventure 2 is. I don't know if I, uh, should I be going this way? I like there's like a part where the, the red Loco Roco Pecoron is going, ah! Sonic levels sound samey because it has overuse of synth. Sonic Colors is the best 3D Sonic, period. Yeah. I don't know, the instrumentation and forces is just bad. Oh, there was like stuff earlier in the level. I think I kind of bounced right past it. Pretty sure anyways. Yeah, with these blocks, right? Or is that where I came from? Uh... That's where I came from. Alright, boss alarm. Just being thorough. I already missed a couple bugs, so maybe I shouldn't care so much, but... Keep on rolling along. Oh man, really? I got a speed run this. Oh man. I have good memories with Adventure 2 as well, like, Phillip's in the chat with me, we used to play that a lot. When we were little boys. <laughs> Sounds weird. Like, we would just like, um, we kind of like roleplay in a way. Like, we would just open up, uh, the battle mode, turn off the timer, and like sit in levels and just stick around. Mostly the Knuckles levels, because those are just big open maps you can explore in. I don't know if you remember this, Phil. But there was like one time you made it, we were on Meteor Herd, which is like the space level uh, below the arc. And you were like, just, just stand. Just stand in this, like, one part of the map where it's like, the floor is clear and there's like lava beneath it. And you're like, just wait, Knuckles will say something cool. And you're like, he'll say like, The ground is displacing my gravity. And then we like sat there for like 30 minutes and it never happens. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Totally just cheese. I don't even need to grab the rhinoceros tail. I can just grab the giraffe tail and slowly, very slowly, get rid of this cloud one by one. Or I could do it this way. I was um, talking over it, but I liked those guys that 
helps us get past those spikes because they're just like, oh, oh. Come here. Come here so I can jump into you. My friends and I would just do stupid RPs in Smash Brothers Brawl. Well, I, I think I did that too. In Melee, anyways. One time... <laughs> this is probably cringe, but one time... I, used, I Well, I don't know if I ever talked about it, but... I was one of those kids that got bullied in school. Shocker, I know, right? But I used to, like... Because you could set nicknames... For the, the players, even computer players. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just normal players. But you can set nicknames. Oh shoot, we're learning a move. So I would, um... Like, name computer players... After people that bullied me, and then I would beat them up in Smash Bros. <laughs> I just sit here, right? I'm sure I wasn't the only person that did that. Oh, I'm supposed to jump when he says one, two, three, four. Here we go. That's such a kid thing to do. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect? But, um, another funny, uh,. Smash Brothers story. I probably also told this one on stream, but my uh, my mom didn't like us being influenced by like swear words or guns or anything violent. So she would make us turn off the uh, the super scope and the laser gun whenever we played Smash. And she didn't like Captain Falcon because she thought he was saying fucking punch and fucking kick. <laughs> So we weren't allowed to play as him. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. If I go this way, can I not go back? Because I just need one more loco. Oh no, you know what? The, the right's probably the way I have to go. I'm probably safe. Alright. But yeah. In the... <laughs> One time, <laughs> um, my mom didn't like us bringing in- Oh wait, I went this way. This is where I got the jump. I'm dumb. Alright. Oh, what was I saying? Uh... Oh yeah, my parents didn't like us having kids in the house. Like the neighbor kids and stuff. So she... And I only wanted to really play video games with people. So I pointed my TV outside my window. <laughs> And my neighbor play through the window outside while I played inside. <laughs> Take that, mom. Uh, there's got to be one more fruit somewhere. Come on. Are you winning, son? No. Need one more fruit so I can sing to the sun. Big brain move. Yeah. Pretty much. Alright, I guess I can't sing to the sun, so we're just gonna leave. And did you guys ever have, like, the, uh... I remember... We weren't really the most fortunate family growing up, so if we could cheap out, we would. And I remember this was when eBay was like starting to get really popular, or maybe it really was. My mom found an auction for like these yellow third party GameCube controllers, and the asking price was a penny. And she actually won the auction. I think she paid like five cents, maybe. So I have had these two yellow controllers, and they actually had macro uh, functions built into them too. They sucked ass. And it was always like, here's your controller, bro. That meme where you just give your friend the shitty controller and use the good first party one. Now I have 16, but I don't think I can go back. Yeah, no chance. Oh wait, oh, hello.
We're about to get super lucky. Oh, just a moi moi. Literally the joke from Malcolm in the Middle where they get yelled at for playing football in the house so they just throw the football through the window at each other. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know they did that, but that's, that's pretty much it. I would buy the shitty third-party controllers at GameStop. Yeah, like, I think they might have been Mad Cats, which was notorious for being garbage, but... I don't know, if I looked up yellow GameCube controller, I probably could find it. Did I go this way already? Probably. Everybody's yelling at me. Where do you want the Sway Tucker? Go back. Yeah, GameCube was great. It's been a nostalgic uh, conversation. I got a weird GameStop branded GameCube controller where it was super tiny. I had a smaller than normal controller too. I actually liked that controller. It worked pretty good. So I, I have small hands. I don't have big giant man hands or whatever. I have normal, uh, well, maybe not normal, but I have gamer hands. Everybody says the, uh, the switch, the switch is too small for their hands. It's perfect for mine. Are you gonna fart away again? Big meaty claws. Oh no! 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 You were evil. I'm gonna rip your tail off. Get I remember a dumb kid moment where I misread free Wii as free Wii Fit. So I would tell kids at school you can get a free Wii Fit at McDonald's. <laughs> Yo, do you remember Nintendo had a thing where you, you could go on the, the whatever site and you could get a free uh, a Wii, Wii rubber protector or whatever, a free Wii condom or whatever. And I was like, oh shit, free stuff, so I did it. And I don't think I ever used the, the Wii jacket. Or, yes, the Wii jacket? Or Club Nintendo was amazing too, like... It's kind of making a comeback right now. They're finally giving away cool stuff. Like, I got Mario posters, which I haven't bought frames for. And, uh... I also got the pins. Pins are cool. I think there was like Pikmin coasters, but I already got coasters, so... Oh! Delango Mary. Oh, I can be uh, the blue one. I could be Poggers for you. Did you get the Mario pins? Yes, I did. I um, I had the redemption portal. I just left it open, and because I I don't know why I, I couldn't redeem it at the time. I think maybe the site the shop wasn't loading. But I had the code redemption open in another tab, so I still had the code. Once it died down, I was actually able to redeem the code, even though other people were saying they weren't able to get it. So I, I lucked out like tremendously and was able to get one. I have a Mario shirt I got from Club Nintendo and Nintendogs is stationary. Did you use all the stationary?
Sorry for yelling. You all awake now? Level scary. Oh, wait. oh no! I wasn't supposed to touch those. Oh, I think this is like the safe. You must learn what these do to you part. Maybe though? Maybe not. You never use the stationary? Oh, I split! Oh, you hear that one instrument just going hard right now? Well, it was over now. I saw you, I need you. The only physical thing I got from Nintendo was Smash 4 soundtrack. I have that too. I actually broke it though. The disc is fine, I just broke the, uh, the case on accident. I used to put it in my car, which is a bad idea apparently. The stage scared me when I was a kid, can you believe that? Sure. It's a little spook. Listen, I- Luigi's Mansion was terrifying to me, so I mean... Anything scary in your little... I want to kill you. Can I not kill this thing? There we go. Boy boy robo screw. I only I remember they had an ultra hand you can get. I wanted it so bad, but I waited too long. Are you talking about the eShop game? Or was there an actual physical ultra hand? I don't remember that. I remember the game. There was like a Luigi's Mansion statue that I really wanted. But I don't think I had enough points for it. No, yes, I do. See, now I don't know which way, <laughs> what you're referring to. Oh, I gotta time this? Oh, nut! 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 Nut jump! I used to- did you actually get- did you guys actually take the survey seriously? Because I definitely did. Oh no! Wait, why did- why did it show me that? Oh, aha! Dude, Nintendo care. I mean, I took them seriously. I remember writing like an essay about Super Paper Mario. Ah, I clogged up your trumpets. Single-handedly cost sticker star to happen. Yeah, probably. I think I said something along the lines of, "This is a great book, but a terrible game," <laughs> which I might might honestly have contributed, because it wasn't like I wanted like the survey results said nobody cared about the story, which is what not what I was trying to say. I was saying like it was a good story, but the gameplay was not there. Uh, I probably did contribute to some degree.
<laughs> Is that the part that scared you, Shock? That was a big spook. Sure did. I think, um, what's the guy's name? Because Koizumi, he's gonna be our savior. He's he's the guy that injured, inter, interjects lore into Mario games. It sounds like he's starting to win over uh, Miyamoto again. I think we're slowly recovering from stale Mario. I mean, if Adi sees any indication, we're pretty much there. Oh, no, come back. Now we, we just now need to get... Oh, why'd I do that? We just now need to get a good Mario RPG series. So, I mean, everybody says... Um, What's the new Paper Mario called? The, the the Paper the Origami King. Everyone says that one's good. So I mean, I've considered or kicked around the idea of streaming Color Splash just to see if I hated it. I don't know if it's worth being negative on the internet, really. I don't know. We have Bug Fables. Bug Fables is really good. That's all I needed. They make a Bug Fables too. I'm 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 sold. An insider mentioned like Mario Strikers was one of the reasons why Nintendo wanted a safer image with Mario. I wish they would do another Super Princess Peach. This tree's scary. Is this the scary tree? God. I can't sing to him, I'm not big enough. I want to like Bug Fable, but the art style bothers me. It's kind of ugly, I will admit. That's why if they did a sequel, I feel like they would, uh... Ah! Oh, this is, this is fucked up. Well, I just lost two. So that's cool. So much for singing to those guys. This is kind of scary, honestly. Because these guys are not a joke. Now I lost another two. I'm getting, uh, getting kind of boned right now. Literally a Newgrounds game. I don't know. It kind of grew on me as I played more. The music in the game's awesome. There's an option to turn off the black outlines for the map, which I did like right away. I think it looks better that way. I don't know. I, I played the, the shit out of that game. And I played it on hard too. Like I, I fought all the bosses on hard. It was very, very good. I can't say I care too much for the writing. I don't really remember much at all. A lot of people love the characters. And I thought it was fine. I think uh, Vi is my favorite character. Or I guess V. Her name's Violet, so you, I th you would think her short would be Vi. But V sounds like B, which is what she is. So I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. But she has like a really cool character arc, and, and you know what? Leaf is, has a cool uh, character development as well. I just I don't know. I you know what? There is cool stuff in that story.
Well, maybe I'll make my own bug-related game one day. Oof. Oops. I did- I did do a sketch, Dan. I haven't shared it because I want to flesh it out more, but I do have a sketch of a character for my own purposes and nothing that you asked me for. I'm mad, I lost like all my local Rokos. That's cool for your own needs, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, I'm def no, uh, changing subject. Look at these wheels, they spin. I hit a switch and now they spin other way. Ah! That's the, what's the sound that McGrave made? Get me out of here. Oh wait, I need the switch to go the other way? Well, how does this work? How... how would I do this? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it now. Check this out. Big brain. That's a good puzzle. But yeah, if they make Bug Fables 2, I think they will definitely, uh... I think they should definitely hire like a, a real really good artist to do the art or they should like go I don't know they could do their own art style and not lean heavily on Paper Mario the art really grew on me though my homies in a jar because there is just too many overshot lines that they could easily erase I don't know there's I, it, uh, I'd have to re-familiarize myself to explain what I don't like about the art style but oh man oh no It's been three years, but Spawn Mucho, we beat him up, and that's why he's uh, got a boo boo. You guys remember Bon Mucho, right? Oh, dang, we're here already. Okay. Oh, my! Magelline has almost completed the Mojo, Mojo Bonyo bomb. Hurry and stop her. This is um this is cool. This is the the final level music from the first game. Uh-oh. 
Later, guys. Damn, there's a game over screen in this game? Damn, this stage really be looking like a Smash Bros. level. <laughs> Try that again. This is this. Look, it's PlayStation uh, All Stars Battle Royale or whatever it's called. This should have been their final destination. Am I right? There was actually Loco Roco in that game. They uh, they crossed over with Metal Gear, which is weird. But the level song, like, the trans- there's like- It's not even like, the actual Loco Roco music, it's like fake Loco Roco music by a different, total different guy. But there's like a transition piece to the Metal Gear Solid stuff, and it's actually kind of a bop. But uh, that game was interesting. There's Patapon representation in that game too. They crossed over with God of War, which makes sense. However, all right, we're not doing this again. We're doing this again. What was I saying? Petapon level crossover with God of War. Um, they uh, same deal. Like it's not even the right voices for the Petapon. It's like some some dude in his thirties. With a really deep voice, pitched up, and um, I don't think there's anything really interesting to mention. But like Gong Scythe is an item. Um, Siokina appears in the the uh, what's it called the uh, Ape Escape level in the teleporter. And the Patapons are obviously in the God of War stage. <clears throat> For whatever reason, though, they only have frog, the frog petapons, but they have white eyes. I don't know. I guess they never played the game. <laughs> they should have put petapon as character. They could have put an uber hero. Anyways, I'm gonna get baited by that one fruit on the left again. I just know it. Oh, Pogger. I gotta do it again? Are you crazy? Oh, alright, well. We're gonna be here for a while, guys. Because I'm gonna be a greedy ass and try to get all the fruits. Even though I'll probably lose lives. Chat. Prototype of PS All Stars leaked and had yellow as a character. What do you mean yellow? You mean Colche from Loco Roco? Did I miss a fruit when I was looking away? Oh, there is one. Oh. Really? Dan, you gotta source me on that bad boy. How would that even work? How come Loco Roco would get in before Pat up on him? That's bullshit. Well, later, guy. Did I just accept that I lost a life and move on? Probably. I 
Oh, I got hurt from that? Oh. Hello, the Gale player. Can I post links in here? Yeah. I don't think I have them blocked. At least I shouldn't. But who knows? Maybe Twitch turned it on without telling me. See, I missed one. Because I got hurt. Oh! This looked a lot cooler on the PSP. And not in my face on my TV. Or my... I guess. What's happening right now? Hey! Can I sit here? Is this a good idea? Bad idea. Very bad idea. Oh, see, I missed my chance to attack. Alright, I guess I just lost one. But it was another. See you guys, it didn't matter. I'm just gonna lose them anyway. Oh, that's probably- Oh yeah! Oh, just concept art? Oh, okay. Oh no, she made more. No, come back. And I suck at this. Uh-oh. Oh, I know this is a trap. Ah! No! Oh. A poke in the eye. Hey, waifu 2x this. <laughs> oh, they got Chop Chop Master Onion in this mock-up. These renders look cool, they should release them. Say, I don't remember anymore. Oh, yeah, I got it. Bad at this. Frame perfect. Yeah. Huh. 
releasing a good one Tucker company releasing assets. Well, yeah Wasn't all right. You remember the tester? That show that Aaron Hansen got on Apparently the tester like the prize was like you're going to work on a triple-a AAA game from Sony Apparently that game was PlayStation all-stars by the way And that studio got shut down after PlayStation all-stars was made at least, that's what I remember hearing. I could be wrong. Shooting oh. star, make a wish. A wish for a new Patapon game. I think the guy just became a CEO or whatever for winning the tester Dan come on they're like ah, fuck this dude I'm out Ooh, another shooting star. Uh, I wish for um, a new Petapon. Guess we're uh, we're done here. Monkey's paw though. They'll just make like um. Had a pawn, uh... Call it. It's like the most basic game in the world. Checkers? Make Pat a pawn checker. Pat a pawn tic tac toe. Tucker, you're on fire tonight with these jokes. <laughs> This, you're right, this does sound like Mambo 5. Puyo Pan. Want that. Ay, 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 ay. Has the same fart instrument playing in the background, that's why. Kimmy Adachi! Isn't Michelle 143 like, um, I remember reading about them about something, I don't remember though. I think they voiced someone, something. Can't believe Loco Roco is the last Sony game ever. Wrong, Dan, it was Gravity Rush. At least for me. The last Sony game I cared about. Well, besides everybody you call. That wasn't first party, was it? It was like that that hand that hand studio. <laughs> they have a hand in their logo. Hand fetish. Um, gamer. Eat nut. I'm running out of time, boy. Eat that nut. Okay, we'll never know what happens. I really don't like the Western focus for Sony stuff now. I mean, new console generation, maybe they'll surprise us. 
The creator of Gravity Rush left Sony recently. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh snap. Oh, I'm supposed to been I was supposed to run into these photos? I didn't know that. Maybe that's a good thing though, Dan. They could bring in new blood. That's not Western. I mean, if Sony doesn't do anything I don't like, then I just don't buy their PS5, so it's not a big deal for me. I like how they have the concept art in this little uh, credit scene. And since it's not a, a vector, they didn't redraw it. <laughs> so it's self pixelated. But don't worry, those fonts are most definitely high res. Is there a reason to own a PS5 right now after then Bug Snacks? Isn't Bug Snacks on PC? It's on Epic PS5. Isn't Epic PS PC though? It is on PS4. Congratulations, play as long as you like. Get rid of the rest of the... So yeah. Um, I don't know if this is spoilers. So plug your ears if you don't want to hear. But if you clear all the... Sh the the clouds who's a secret boss and um probably not doing that right now but uh this is technically the end of the game it's kind of grinding at this point just have to explore every level and get rid of all the shadows so maybe i'll do that in another stream we'll call that the finale But uh, I think that's it for me today. Get re rest, get rest of the scribbles from Foster's home. You got it, Dan. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess we can go to the, the Moi Moi house for a little bit. I care about spoilers. I cannot believe you just said that, Tucker. Well. Fun Mucho dropped something. Oh, they have their secret levels. Oh, shit. There's actually a lot left still, isn't there? That's right. There's like secret super hard levels. I kinda remember that now. Let's see. Rockin' horse. Somebody ride ride that rockin' horse. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Is there anything else I can build?
Are you guys satisfied with your house? You don't want anything else? I wish my name was Bon Mucho. Well, Dan, if the price is right, we'd most certainly make that a reality. Did I just make a broom? Titty broom. Oh yeah, the clap is good. Oh, here's something. Redeemed highlight my message. What does that mean? You give me money? Is that what that is? Thank you for whatever that is. Oh, is it channel points? What do channel points do? Wow, nice cartoon meme sound effect. <laughs> oh, I- wait. Hang on, I gotta flesh this house out. What's this do? Is this a camera? Well, what is channel points? Underwear drawer, yo! I think he pulls out some gachis and he's like, ha ha! Oh, oh, he's. Oh, God. What is channel points? Wait, it gives you. It just gives you stuff like highlighting your message or modify an emo. Interesting. Oh, this adds more to the music. Oh, that's cool. I need a Mona Mona pedal. What else can I make? Come on, there's gotta be more. Another underwear drawer? Did we need to have two of them? Oh, these are different looking. These ones got stars. Need more tears from a penguin. Anything else? I don't even know if that was in sync. They are partner, I'm number one. Chill out room. It's time for the local Roco 2 grind. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, closing thoughts. This one's for you guys. You asked for Loco Roco for three years. Here it is. The Moi Moi House Meadow. I mean, I won't lie, it's actually fun to expand the house even though it does almost nothing. Actually, does it- is it this- is this how you get the secret levels? No, you get the map piece. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Log in every day for your local Roku dailies. <laughs> Honestly, 
they made a modern one. This wouldn't be the. This would work great on a mobile phone, actually. You would just tilt it, and then you would tap the jump, and it would work great. They would never do it unless Sony wants to become a cell phone game maker. I mean, Petapon would also work on a mobile, but... Maybe Sony will be enter the phone market again and make a, a gamer phone. Then they'll sucker me into buying it so I can play mobile pad upon and uh mm -hmm. all right i think i built everything i could i can see that honestly even if it was just like moi moi house only and then you have an adventurer who works on a stamina system <laughs> look i'm making their game for them What should I build for you? You want Moi Moi picture? Well, guess what? I don't have any Tronka tree, pal! I remember that weird gaming phone they made one time where you can play Crash on it or whatever. It was like... It was... The PSP could play the mobile games, too. I kind of remember that, because they had like Pac-Man Championship, or whatever that one was called. It, it, it has a name, I know it does. PSP was awesome, by the way, if I haven't overstated that enough. Anyways, I am ending it here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, goodbye.